here with uh, Brian from r, r Games. Hi, Brian. Hello. Yeah, to see you a few times in Gen Con already. <laughs> Great yes. to see you here again. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah. you. So uh, maybe you want to talk about uh, r, r Games and uh, what is in store for r, r Games for this year? Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, let me show you some of our newer products yeah, that are sure. coming out. Sure. Currently, we have a few that are in uh, prototype production, but you know, bear with us as we go through those, <laughs> as we go through those growing pains, sure. right? Yeah, yeah. So we have Pickle Letter here. Yeah. Pickle Letter is going to be coming out in about the uh, end of March, maybe April. Okay. Okay. Uh, this game here is played with uh, dumping the tiles mm -hmm. that you can see with the letter tiles mm -hmm. onto the table, and then you have these pickle chips. Okay. Okay. What What's going to happen is that two players, three players, four players, how many players are involved in the game, up to yeah. five, yeah. will start yelling out combinations of letters. Okay. And then you grab those combinations of letters and send them off to the side. Okay. Okay. If you ever call out a combination that's not there, the game stops, you get a pick. Oh, okay. okay. Right. If you ever um, say that there's no combinations left, you have to call the word pickle. Okay. Okay? Right. okay. If you're the one that does that, everybody else is going to get a pickle. Okay. The object of the game is to not get four pickles. If you get four pickles, you're out of the game. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you just keep going round and around until yeah. you cannot claim any more tiles anymore. Right. Okay. Points are earned by, you know, different points for same tiles. Same scribble? Is it? Uh, really. No, no, no. Okay. no, no. Okay. It's based on how many tiles you have. Oh, okay, how many yeah. tiles? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And will, will all the tiles be face up initially? Or? All the tiles look like this. Okay. Okay. So when a round goes, so you just keep calling out pairs. Okay. When the round is done, you flip up 10 more times. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah. okay. So it's not instantly you have you can right. see everything. Yeah. You okay. can't see everything. Okay, right? cool. Right. cool. So yeah. that's, that's what creates the round after round until it eliminates all the tiles that you mm -hmm. can match up. Okay, so it comes in, a, in this? Yeah, this cute little jar right yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, it's going to call Gobblestones has nine different tiles. Mm -hmm. They are double sided. Okay. Okay. With the double sided, you can see all the numbers here. So someone has dealt out five of these tiles to put behind okay. behind them, right? Okay. Okay. So when you start, you must start, uh, whoever's going to start must start in the center of any one of these tiles okay. and they must place the color on color. Okay. So red would go on red, green would go on green. So you know, you could do something like first person to start, you go two, um, let's do this for zero, and another two for four, and that one for making it seven. Okay. And then you score that on the score pad. Okay. Okay. You can only put out to five tiles okay. on, on the board, okay. and they go orthogonal. You can never do two by two, so you can never create a pattern that went like this. Mm. And it's not diagonal, it's orthogonal. So mm. Horizontal okay. and vertical, vertical right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you score points. You keep going amongst all the players that are playing until yeah. it comes down to how you draw tiles. Okay. Drawing tiles in this game says that forever, forever how many tiles you play, you subtract that from five, and that's how many tiles you're going to draw. So if you have three tiles played, subtract five, you're going to get two tiles, right? So if it comes to your turn and you need to draw two tiles, and there's not two tiles to draw, game ends, whoever has a high score wins. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, so it's more like a Whatever we have, we try to match as best as we can. What is on the yeah, table. you have to you have to match, and then yeah, exactly. So if you only have these two colors, you could get six nine points here. Mm. But if you had a, a the, the dark blue and light blue here, mm. you could get uh, 12, 12 points. Yeah. You get twelve plus, plus three, three, so you get fifteen mm. points yeah. for those three if you build down. Yeah. Okay. okay. So like I said, you can never build a two by two. Yeah. But you're you're allowed to cross cross the. Cut. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah. Like, yep. Yeah, you can go any way as long as out as you want. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So is this a, like the final? Uh, yeah, this one's out. Final. This okay. one's out for sale right now. Oh, okay, so it is. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. It's yeah. been released this year. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's right, pretty cool. good. It's doing really well for us. Oh okay. A lot of fun. And then what's cool about it is that it all fits into this bag. Mm -hmm. So you can put all the boards. It's in these two to four players. Yeah, yeah. two, two to, to four, four players. players. Yeah. Right. Last about 15, 20 minutes maybe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good okay. game. Yeah. Good game. Nice. So swipe out. You are going to get these four boards. Yeah. Chips cover the boards. Yeah. This one, of course, is in prototype. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So with this, you're going to flip these cards randomly, and then what you're doing is you're trying to swipe off the chips to match this pattern. Okay. Whoever does that first grabs. Oh. <laughs> Showing that they're done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when you say swipe, uh, is, it, is it a specific color that you're trying to? Match this. These is prototype. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. So this is prototype. Okay. So, oh, so when you say swipe off, how do you swipe off? I say swipe. So, yeah. so if you're looking at this pattern yeah. here, you can see that's an arrow, right? Correct. Yeah. So you would want, you know, you'd want swipe out. Oh, okay. Shift yep. them. Yeah. Okay. Shift them out. So you're gonna create the pattern that you see here. Ah, okay. All right. Whoever okay. can get that done first squeezes this, ah, okay. and then they've won that round. And then then they reset the game. Reset. reset the game. Yep. 
Okay. So that is how you play Swipe Out. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Realm City of Marvel, that came out in Essen from Brett Meyer. Yeah. Okay. This game here is about uh, building neighborhoods mm -hmm. to create various types of buildings in those neighborhoods mm -hmm. to earn your victory points. And of course, the most victory points at the end of the game. Yeah. Okay. And you do that through, as you can see here, like a construction of vertices based on the triangles here. And uh, okay. yeah. these are the seven hills of, of Rome that are yeah. involved. Mm -hmm. You have the water, the water tiles with the bridges as well. Mm -hmm. So the game, game lasts maybe an hour with mm -hmm. four players. Okay. Excellent game. It is a little abstract, but it's a great strategy game. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. So it's like a, in a way, they're kind of building up the area, they're building up the area and scoring points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So fun, fun game. How the game ends is when you've uh, when you've uh, used up three of the different colors. Mm -hmm. So if if blue, yellow, and red are gone, mm -hmm. okay, those uh, the game will stop right there, and then you score. Stop on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's only uh, one map, right? There's no. It's not yeah, double-sided. Just one, one right now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And there's a player board as well. Where these are the player boards. This is how you take your actions okay. with the action disc. Yeah. These are the different action spaces that you can see on the board. Yeah. Okay. These magistrates represent control when you're out in the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and there's a way to place those out there based on building. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there's a way to gain Imperium. Imperium will give you additional actions okay. as you gain them, or they give you extra victory points at the end of the game. Ah, okay. Uh, right. Depending on how they're played. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. Showdown. Yeah. Showdown itself is you're going to shuffle up these cards, deal out four of them to okay. each player, and they're various uh, characters in history. Yeah. Whether they're, whether they're real or not. Right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So, everybody has those four. You're going to grab two challenge cards. Yeah. And everybody's going to vote on which challenge they want. Most mm -hmm. annoying. How about uh, first person you call to help your body. body? Okay. Okay. So then we're going to choose that one. Okay. So everybody on their turn is now going to pick out of their four cards okay. two of the characters. Mm -hmm. To yeah, go think? into either box A or box yeah. B. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pick that one, and I'm going to pick this one. Okay. And everybody would be involved in that. Okay. Yeah. Okay? So they they will stack. You'll stack. Okay. Okay. Right. You'll grab those. Mm -hmm. You'll shuffle them, mm -hmm. and then you'll deal out four. Deal out four. Okay. Okay. So some won't get in the get in the arena battle. Okay. So essentially, what it would look like is this. Yeah. And you can see there's spots one, two, three, three four, four. Yeah. Through eight. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. So essentially, you're going to see that. So. First person you'd call to help bury the body. Yeah. Is it going to be Mr. Rogers or is it going to be Pinocchio? Well, be. Okay. So what you're looking at is over here, you're going to start bidding. Yeah. You're going to bid who's going to become a semi-finalist, a finalist, or a champion. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So you can see that as whoever wins the battles based on a voting system is going to slide into semi-final, final, champion. Mm. And then you score points at the end of the game based on your bidding. So okay. semi-final, final, and champion, you're in one, two, and three points. Ah, okay. If you're the champion, you get three points. If you have your card, if you were if your card was Pinocchio and got in there, you get three points. So there's a very there's a various way, you know, a few ways to score points. So you have to keep track of yourself what cut you played in a way. Scoreboard. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So so you earn points from here as well as if your cut is the one that moves up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when the when the uh, when the final battles yeah. and the brackets are done, yeah. so you see who has the most points and yeah. then you just keep going until you get to, to the, the final point. victory. Oh okay. Alright, yeah. cool. Yeah. Right. That's showdown. Okay. So it's uh Rome, I know it's released. This is also released? This is prototype. Prototype, okay. This is the actual prototype. final version of the box. Okay. Well, this, this is, is prototype. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Same right. for uh, uh, Swipe Out, which we took a look at, yeah. and Pickle Level. Yeah. Okay. Those are our three new ones that are coming out. And it should be late late, uh, late March, early April. Okay. Yeah. So, um, if if they are like budding young designers, right, because I know that um, you're always looking out for new games and stuff like to put under the r, &R games. What would you recommend them to look at? Is there any genre you think that's underserved or any like age group? or any type of game that's understood that you think would be something that young designers could take a look at? Yeah. You know, anymore, um, it's really about a well-developed game mm -hmm. and uh, having fun. Mm -hmm. That's the essence of it. Of course, it has to be solidly, you know, solid with the mechanics. Yeah. And uh, it could be, you know, a fun party game. It could be a fun strategy game, mm -hmm. right? Because we carry from the party games to all the way to Yeah, so it, 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 really, it really is about finding that, that right groove that creates that fun mm. that people want to have with it. Just putting a smile on your face, yeah. making you think, you know. So, yeah, we carry games that fit every genre, okay. every niche. Okay. So for a young budding designer, you just want to make sure that it's well-developed, well-presentable, mm. not just a concept on a piece of paper. Okay, yeah. something that 
you can actually start playing with other shows. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's something you can, something you can show like this. Okay. You know, this is this would be a well developed prototype. prototype. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Man.